All right. So this was suggested to do a video like this. So thank you guys for suggesting to do this. And it is going to be, I don't have a whiteboard to so just go with me. I have a brown board instead. So I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about a contest routine. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. So um, I would suggest learning um, for sure how to do hails, the double cluck, the triple cluck, the spit note, like learn it all first okay and once you learn it then start building a routine but i'll go over in a second so hails you're gonna so there's nine parts of a routine and i'm gonna go over it very thoroughly okay so hails typically you're going to have four to seven hails and basically what hails are supposed to do is they're supposed to um show how loud and powerful you can be and how much control you have of the call, okay? And um, I know a lot of people that are bad at hails, so hails are definitely something you wanna take seriously and be good at them. So what it's gonna be like is, is just a really drawn out honk. I have a video on how to do it, so if you don't know how to do it, go do it. But basically it sounds like this. gonna do some short ones as well or not short but just lower ones and when you do hails you always want to start with the high hail so you're gonna have like maybe two high hails and two low hails and a high hail and a low hail or so like I'll do a high hail and a low hail okay moving on okay so then we got the intermediate which is this little part right here and this is this is important. Now remember, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that um, when you when you're doing this, you want to make sure that uh, you're painting the picture in their head where you're at. Because um, before I go any further, let me like display what this whole thing is supposed to be. So it's supposed to be um, you see geese way out in the distance. You do loud, powerful notes. And then you do, then you kind of pick it up, start to get faster, and then you get really fast. And then you start bringing the geese down. They're getting close. So you're kind of doing like uh, slower stuff. And then they start to like flare or whatever. And then you do a comeback sequence. And then you do some really fast stuff. And then you do a, another come down, like you already turned them around. And then you do finish stuff, okay? So you're intermediate is going to be a uh, powerful individual not individual but powerful more slower stuff okay and it can be a quick spit like a moan um like say just coming out from the hails okay just something just something like that just slower um, like I said, you can even add some quick spits. You got to remember though, when you're calling and making a routine, make up your own style. Like maybe like a good idea is maybe just to watch a ton of other callers and combine everything. Just try and get your own taste of a, of a routine and really see what um, works best for you and sounds best for you. So build up this one right here. This is important because Chet geese are involved, hiding your breaths. There is no way you can do a good length, um, good length buildup without taking a breath unless you have lungs of goddamn Jesus or something. I don't know. But anyways, so have a good buildup. And basically when you start this, you want to be... Um, you want to be kind of slower and just start to and just kind of go up with it you want it to be gradual but yet not a flat um but not a flat build up you want to be poppy and excited the whole way up as you're going up and somewhere in the middle about here i would suggest doing it a little bit earlier and the reason for that is because when you are um when you are taking breaths at an earlier stage you can get uh more back in the tank for um, getting all the way up here because you don't want to be taking breaths when you're almost out of air because it's going to be more noticeable and um, and yeah so 
Oh, this is another important thing. Before I go into the first come down, make sure, like, I, I, like uh, when I get videos on routines, I notice this is one big thing is that um, make sure you make it clear where the end of your intermediate is from when you start your build up. So normally people just do like a little bit of a pause, like say I'll do my intermediate and then I'll start my build up. I didn't really pause, but I like kind of slowed down. I did a couple like really powerful clucks, like wah, 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 wah. That's where I started it. So then you, your first come down, there's a lot of different ways to do come downs. Honestly, the best way to do it is um, pick what you like, what you think sounds good. There's not a, this is the best come down, you know, it's all about um, what kind of works best for you and, you know, and whatnot. So, um, like watch a lot of people. I'll just I'll just do a couple of come downs, then you can just kind of so you just kind of get an idea. And the thing is with come downs, you want to you kind of want to match your speed coming off of your build up into your come downs. Okay, so um, so like you're gonna be faster at the top, but then you're gonna slow it down and get more drawn out at the bottom. Okay, so let's say I'm at the top end of my build up, and make sure you do really especially towards at the top here make sure you're doing some fast stuff like take your breaths and then just start picking it up and go 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 and then start to come down so then um like i said i'm just going to go over a couple different come downs like the double cluck moan cluck is used a lot i'll go over that <laughs> or um the hiccup the hiccup is another one Um, but that's just like the beginning and the end. Like don't have them actually be that short. You want them to actually be, um, pretty long. So let, let me actually do like my come down. Okay. Don't copy it. I swear to God, I'll chop you in half. <laughs> All right. It's not very difficult, but just to show you like a good uh, length of time. And, um, but yeah, so, okay, before we go any further, I'm totally getting ahead of myself here. Making a buildup, um, best way to do it, write on a sheet of paper, just a super long, um, just literally make it up. Cluck, double cluck, cluck, triple cluck, cluck, double cluck, moan, cluck, cluck, triple cluck. It doesn't matter. Write on a piece of paper and then practice only that for, oh God, practice it till you're fast as shit with it. Because once you get fast with that, that is when you add it in past your breaths. That should be like after your breath stuff. But this can be whatever uh, right here. This can be whatever, but okay. That, I just wanted to point that out because that's actually pretty important. So then when you come down here, you at the bottom of your come down, you know. And then you want to kind of get quiet. I'll show you a couple different ways. You can get quiet. And then you want to come back up into your comebacks. I'll get kind of closer here. Here, screenshot this. Beauty. Okay, so... You're gonna, you know, you're gonna kind of be quiet here. So, the end of your come down, you're gonna then, uh, what a lot of people do is either they just do clucks like this. And then they just kind of like build it up. So, this is just an example. I'll do a couple different examples. So, at the bottom of my come down, Okay, 
everything I just did, remember that because I'm going to show you and you're going to be like, God damn. Okay, so uh, that was like the quiet stuff after the hiccup. This is what I did. This is what I was just talking about. And then the the double cluck moan clucks where I was like, la 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 la. That's when I came up here. But this, this comeback area right here, um, that was what I was just doing. The now that doesn't actually have to be that. That can be just like a, like a spit note. Um, there's, okay, I'm just going to go over a couple different comebacks. I'm just going to do them right now so I just don't talk and confuse you. between the two is they're just different obviously but um basically you're just rolling two spit notes together is the <laughs> but the da -la 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 -ta -la is the is just a double cluck rolled into another spit note so it's a spit note rolled into a double cluck rolled into another spit note <laughs> that's actually one of my favorite ones but like when i just started doing contests i didn't know how to do either of those so i just did some judges like that but um anyways so then uh when i was doing that then you notice i went right into my fast stuff and this is like some of the fastest stuff you can do but that doesn't mean transitions are completely left out and i'll go over that in a second so right here um this is where the fast stuff is so one second okay so transitions this is huge this this will definitely get you up there. So transitions. Um, okay, I figured out there's a really good way to do it. So if you know how to do this, you can do good transitions, especially after your comebacks. So after your comebacks, uh, you're gonna roll two instead, and that's when you're gonna carry your notes. Like listen to this. I didn't have a transition there it would just be okay you want that transition to be there you want it to all be run um smoothly you don't want any and for, let me keep in mind when you do this you want to make sure that you also got a lot of up and down throughout the whole thing, not, but yet in a gradual income and decline. And you don't want to be just flat up and down, if that makes any sense. And then um, uh, second come down. This is the same as the first come down. Just make sure it's a different type of come down. So it's slightly different. Okay. Like uh, I'll just do hunter grounds come down it's just a quick spit and a turkey note so if you know how to turkey note i have a video on how to do it so go watch that um so it's a quick spit turkey note okay and what he did at the top of his uh at the top of his fastest stuff so after his comeback he went to his fastest stuff and then he um I'm going to do a set come down, and that is. Okay. And you can make them a little longer and stuff. You can kind of get fancy with it. Um, and then the last stuff is the finished stuff. Okay. So uh, this, this is where you show your finesse side. This is where you show your... Um, just goosey side, you can do some stall clucks. Okay, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want a non, like, uh, cause this camera's on reverse and it's kind of hard to see, uh, um, go on my Instagram and DM me, say you want this picture and I'll just send it to you. But remember, 
It's just like a roller coaster. It's just like a roller coaster. Hails, intermediate, loud, slower stuff, build up, which is just gradually incline, um, and but make sure like you hide them breaths. Holy shit, I never went over that. Okay, so breaths. Mm. It's a tough one. Because there's a duff, uh, there's a couple different ways to do it. But I have a video on it, so go watch that video. How to hide your breaths. Um but that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got. So if you guys looking to get into contests. Do every one of those steps and you will have a great start. And every contest is a minute 30 seconds tops. When the light comes on, that means you're at a minute and 20 seconds, okay? So after a minute 20 seconds, you have 10 seconds left, okay? Um, get used to a heavier call because you're going to want tone, but also you want variety as well. And make sure in your buildups, it's not just clucks and fancy stuff. You got to have some moans in there too. So yeah, but best way to get ideas on what you want to do exactly for come downs, come back, do what I did, do what a lot of people did. Just watch a ton of contest calling and then just go from there. Peace out.